right. Come and get it. All right, there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein in the Gifts Only Run. Uh, let's go ahead and level up a bit here. Uh, so let's see how, what we can do here for our levels. 20 levels? That actually sounds really good. Um, so let's go for 120. And let's uh, drop that one and a half million haze about. And uh, let's uh, continue on here. And uh, we'll uh, hopefully be getting through the Queen's Knight Reborn. And uh, we've got uh, Lifesteal now with us. And so we're able to uh, get back health as we kill. As we go through the uh, area here. Uh, which is really, really, really nice. Because uh, we need um, a little bit of health uh, with every enemy we kill. And getting back 5% of our health now will be uh, significant at this point. So if we can get these guys to both run over here, maybe we can get two of them together. Um, okay. Alright. Just like that, and we get back 10% of our health. Uh, so that is going to be really, 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 really nice for us. Uh, if we can indeed do that along the way here. Okay. Okay. But uh, it's, it's going to be kind of tricky here to get both of them to be uh, alongside us here. Okay. Ouch. And especially if we get hit along the way. So let's just go ahead and uh, kill here. Uh, so we get back uh, some kind of health along the way. Uh, so we'll just uh, keep that in mind. Now this lady, uh, we definitely want to uh, hopefully get focused if uh, she's going to let us. But, uh, oops, but that's okay if she doesn't, um, we, we can still, uh, put her down nicely and easily there, so not a big deal, really, and, uh, we can go ahead and kill some of these folks, uh, at a distance here, um, before we actually get into some crazy with them, uh, so her will definitely, uh, get her interested, there we go. And you can see how uh, this is definitely helping to get back 5% um, health every time that we uh, kill an enemy. Because uh, most of them are pretty dangerous overall. So let's go for this guy. Get rid of him. Now we don't really need anything else uh, anywhere along the way here. So it's, it's not really in our best interest to be gallivanting around trying to kill as many things as we can. Um, because of the fact that... Uh, we just need to literally get through here and get to the Queen's Knight Reborn and uh, do him nicely and easily and then move on. So uh, we'll definitely keep that in mind here as we get to these uh, different folks along the way. And uh, it's best to put these uh, Blood Knights down as fast as humanly possible or as revenantly as possible um, because of uh, just how much... Uh, horrible things, how many horrible things they can do to us, uh, regardless of what's going on. Okay, it would be great if I could hit that doggo. Nope. Can I hit him? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we have, uh, we have the gifts necessary here, it's just, uh, uh, whether or not we can actually execute everything, um, equally and effectively along the way, and, Getting through this area is going to be definitely a little bit problematic because we do have to make sure that we have um, enough i at every single encounter because as soon as we uh, miss out on an opportunity to get health back or something, uh, it's really, really, really going to inhibit us big time because uh, everything through here does big damage and uh, we need to be able to do big damage back. So that now gets us to... Uh, two Queen Tungsten at the same time here, so we're able to um, use it uh, to get another thing up to level 10 if we need to. So let's go ahead and heal. Now, uh, in these moments here where we're waiting, we could go for Improved Regeneration, and uh, we could use Cleansing Light, and that way we get 40% uh, more efficiency out of our heals along the way here, so we can actually have um, better heals than what we would normally and you can see that uh, we can heal up almost a full there, and that's very, very good. Let's go for Hasten. Good, and we'll get a little more i here. So you can see how that really helps. Um, that really helps each of the little scenarios here to uh, switch the um, items up and everything. 
Okay, good. Get rid of those doggos. Uh, because uh, you definitely don't want to be, um, you know, messing around with them if you don't have to. And we definitely want the Eos Vestige here, for sure. And uh, let's head over here and get our last uh, regeneration. Whoops, okay. I didn't realize uh, she was going to go down so easily there. Okay, and our last regen. Very good. We have 10 now. Uh, now the last activation factor will be the uh, Berserker, obviously, in the uh, government center. So we'll have to uh, pick that up Whoops. when we get there. Finally, we get bridge. Okay, and we'll go for a gift extension because uh, you never know when, when you might need it. And here we're going to go for some long distance gifting with these fellas. Uh, because uh, we don't want them sneaking up behind us here at all. Okay, and we are out of uh, we're out of uh, cleansing light here, so we we'll definitely need that going into uh, this lady over here for sure, because uh, she will end us quickly if we don't uh, do things fast like that. Okay, very good. And we now actually have access to the um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, veil of the um, Ivory Grace. So very, very good. Oh, come on. Let me kill him. There we go. That's that's good to uh, get him out of the way if you can, um, for no other reason than to just literally get him out of the way. Um, and uh, go for a, a drop on him. So this is a plus nine. Excellent. And like I said, we have a, an another um, ability to go for a plus ten. So that's very nice. I think we will uh, go ahead and rest here because there's no reason to uh, not rest here. So now that we have the Ivory Grace, you can see that uh, it does uh, pretty well uh, overall here. And uh, it does obviously more, um, more light than we had earlier. And uh, it does more light than the Venus Claw, and it does a little bit less dark, but uh, the fact is, is that you now have something that's uh, equally balanced between the two. So here, if I wanted to go for a spike, like lightning spike or something, um, and have uh, all lightning uh, going here, um, and maybe, uh, maybe instead of this, I would go for this one, and so go for a light gift and two darks, uh, we, we still have that option and uh, it would also yield quick mobility, which would be nice because then we could get rid of hasten and go for something like concentration or dark shell or something like that. Um, and we could go for uh, the Venus Claw, obviously, and uh, get a little more dark on there. Um, so we could we could put uh, Merciless Reaper here and we could put dark shout here and uh, we could get um, a little bit more damage uh, this way. Uh, like uh, there we go so we could we could go for something like this and uh, it would cost us a little more i uh effect efficiency here along the way but uh, the fact is now we're i mean we could use the ivory grace but um, because it's a, just about the same amount of damage as the venus claw and so this kind of gives you an idea of the um, abilities here that we have uh, access to running into kind of the end game material here okay good and uh now that we have this fine specimen around the corner here we definitely want to do a dark shout and do this and kill her uh in one hit uh that way i mean even though she hit us there that's fine uh but we were able to destroy her quickly um, and that will come in handy around this corner here where we get into the craziness with this uh, little area coming up. Good, get rid of Monkey Boy, um, because uh, this area is very, very, very dangerous, um, and uh, we will need all the i possible to uh, put everybody down here very, very quickly. Good. And just like so, uh, we don't want to take on anybody Unless we have a uh, Dark Shout uh, running. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Um, okay, 
We'll do this, we'll heal. We'll do this, we'll do this. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, very, very, very close there. Okay, and uh, we will kind of uh, waltz over here. And there we go. Good. And it's a very, 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 very important to get rid of her very, very quickly because she has uh, double the health of the other Blood Knights, and so it's very important to get rid of her fast because uh, she's got the shield, and uh, shielded enemies are really, really rough to go for. And so it's really, really important to not dilly dally around, but to literally uh, remove them from the game as fast as possible. And since uh, we have the ability here to do so, it's uh, actually in our super best interest to do that. Um, and we don't need to fight any monkeys or do any of that stuff. Uh, we could go for some kills there, whoops, um, to uh, uh, go for some extra health. But uh, since we can blast our way through these ladies uh, easily enough to get to the missile, uh, we can get right into the Queen's Knight Reborn fight here. And uh, you want to go for Ice Slash, um, Ice Lightning Slash, um, which fortunately we do have Ice Lightning Slash, but uh, we can go for, where's Minded Vitality, there we go, and Aurora Flash, and uh, we'll go for Blast Bolt because it's really, really quick, really, really good damage, and uh, it's Crush, so it will um, put him into Stagger State at uh, after enough uh, hits. Okay, and then for uh, what we're going for here, we'll probably go for um, Hasten, and we'll go for the Black Blood Liberator, because we will need as much uh, dark value here as possible to uh, destroy this guy. Um, okay, and uh, let's go ahead and head back to the missile there, uh, since we need all our heals and all our i core and everything. Um, and you can see that we're almost up to a half a million Haze now, uh, once again. So that's really, really good. And since we're not really worried about mastering gifts, because we can always head back to the depths at any point in time, I guess we can pick this up, and uh, and master gifts from uh, the bosses there, it really doesn't uh, mean anything to actually do uh, adventuring to uh, level up your gifts. So we'll uh, continue that uh, trend here as we go through each of these areas. And uh, this is kind of how it be and how it do. Uh, so. Yeah, hold on to your hats here as we get into the Queen's Knight Reborn, and uh, there'll probably be several fights here with him, but uh, that's okay. We'll uh, we'll make do, and uh, we'll get it done. It's a one cycle. Okay, well, that was a surprise. Um, okay, well, that's the Queen's Knight Reborn. Ice, Lightning Slash, so Aurora Flash, Jupiter's Blade. Uh, definitely worth your time, uh, which is why, again, I went for um, uh, Queen's Breath, because I knew Aurora Flash would do us much, 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 much better in the long run, rather than, like, Ice, ice Barrage and different things like that. And now that we have access to Ishtar, we have access to Light Impulse, which is really great uh, that we can get that 30% increase on our light value. And uh, we have Goddess's Smile, which gets us 300 health back on a focus state, which we've been running a lot of focus state stuff. Um, now, Maintained Focus and Goddess's Smile are enemies because uh, you want to be focused a lot for Goddess's Smile. But uh, um, Maintained Focus keeps you focused for a very long time, which means you get focused less and less. So these two are kind of uh, the antithesis, antithesis of each other, and uh, so that's kind of sad, but that's how it how it goes. Uh, so let's uh, check out here what we got. I guess we'll go for Deliverance for no reason. Uh, definitely Light Impulse, and we get Mind up, which is nice, because uh, uh, having... I mean, we already have Mind and Vitality, but uh, this is nice as well. 
and uh, these are all MJ 310s uh, so we'd have to go back to the um, we'd have to go back to the uh, what what is that these uh, wistful wanderer but now that we have access to the uh, void district uh, is it the void district or the zero district no this is the zero district and uh, now that we have access to that here at the bottom of the ladder we're going to be able to uh, get um, three tens and tungstens now so the zero district is very very nice to pick up here along the way and uh, we are finally to the government center which is very very nice that we can um, make our way all the way to the end here and we'll we'll go through all the paths and all the enemies and everything here in the government center to make sure that we collect everything possible um, that we have access to so yeah pretty good uh, pretty good run there in the outskirts overall uh, Artemis is uh, as you notice it's been a workhorse of a, a blood code all the way through the uh, gifts only run here and uh, it's it's just such a fantastic code and uh, if you're running um, you know gifts only I, I highly 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 recommend it um, I don't think we really need to level up anymore at the moment uh, we'll probably level up a little more before the skull king but we'll see about that when we get there so for now uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one and we'll probably uh, do some more farming here to uh, get some of the uh, get all of the uh, Ishtar um, gifts especially these two light impulse and goddess of smile because uh, those two will do us uh, well if we uh, are getting into like the uh, hellfire night and different things so we'll definitely need these so uh, we'll see you all then.